Hello guys, I'm your host Ali Khan. Today we are going to learn about profit analysis. Um, like uh, if a business has two line of business, like one has watches like in our example and the other one is clothing. So for this, uh, uh, the business can take reports on profit center base. But what if under this profit center, there are one layer more like it has branch so how can uh, SA, we can take the report from sap so then this uh, profit analysis comes that under profit center we can add subdivide further like in our uh, cases the company has uh, one line of business watches and underneath they are different bar so we need reports for each brand so how can we configure in SAP this is we are going to learn today so this is our simple example we have uh, watches under that we have two brands and we have sales cost of goods sold and admin expense then then the difference is net profit bracket means that uh, we have a credit balance and then and net uh, profit margin net profit over sales so this kind of report report the business want so we have first we, uh, we will configure some GL accounts and, and then we will go further So we go to FS00 to make GL account. So these are the, some GL accounts. Like for sales, I will use this. Cost of work. These are the primary accounts, and admin has a secondary account. We will allocate the expense. With the assessment this you will also learn in this lesson so first of all i just generate these deal accounting first one is four zero four so i'm using my old account just copying my old account because i already have this it will save my time so this is our sales account you can see that it's a primary cost and main thing is that the cost element is 11 category and revenue likewise we have to define cost element cost of goods sold This is already exist, so I will have to look at which accounts I don't have. So up till seventy eight, I already have this one, so I use. Let's see. Okay, I will make it seventy nine. Seventy nine is already there, so I will make this one as eighty one. This one is already added as well. So 
So just copy from there. It's a simple expense account, nothing special, but it should be primary cost. Primary cost, this is the main thing you have to consider. And this is as expense account. So cost of goods sold is, and we need one more expense. This as well I have prepared before, so I am just copying it. Again, it's same like cost of goods sold. Category one, expense account, and that's it. So these are the primary account and one secondary account we need. So this is a secondary account, allocation of admin. Here nothing special, only the expense category is there. So we have made the required GL accounts. Now two more things we have to do, we have to add in SPR, a splitting account. If you have activated splitting account, then you have to also add these accounts in that. So financial accounting, general ledger, business transactions, account splitting. So revenue account is, I think we have 56 we have used. Revenue account is 56. So we will add 56. And for expense account, it's from, from 79 to 81. 79. Seven, 79 to 81. We have already 78, so I can change it into 81. So I have already just I increased the range and save. This is only if you are using splitting account, document splitting is enabled only in that case. Otherwise, you don't need to do this step. And one more thing. You have to assign by default profit center otherwise it will take the dummy profit center account so we go to okb9 okay, properly okay yes so our sales account is 56 so this is my company I just copy this thing. And this is my profit center. So why I'm doing this? Because if I uh, do not attach this profit center, assign this profit center to my company code, the system will take the dummy and profit center. Otherwise, it's uh, not fine. So just save it go back so these steps are done now we have to go to configuration go to spro controlling profit and loss analysis then structure then operating concern so first we have to make uh, operating concern then assign this so we are making some operating concern you can name it any like i have made this uh, that one is my previous one so 
So a k zero two. Then I quit. You are generating yes. So this is operating concern account based reporting. This is my company. So here you have to define whether it is account based or costing based. Costing based, I will tell you in the next video. So today we are just doing account based. Select this in attributes. Setting as well. Okay. Just so our operating concern is uh, currency is CAD. Fiscal variant this is the calendar you are using. I'm using special for year period Z4. That's it. Nothing else. So now what you do, you just press this create button. Save it. Then create it. As we, uh, we want to uh, make report on brand basis, so we have to select. Yeah, here it is down. There is certain other criteria you can make report. So we want to make a report on brand basis. So just select this, take it here, and first you have to save, then activate. So save it. Now activate. After activating, go back. And then again, you have to say yes, and it will take some time to generate it. And you have to check it out this red thing. It should be green. Do you wish to generate a payment environment? See, it's mean that this is uh, properly activated. So now we have ma uh, made a operating concern AK02. Now we have to assign it to our code. Go back, enterprise assignment controlling, assign controlling area. So this is my controlling area. So I have to change it here. AK02. You can also see that it is green here. If it, like these are red, so you cannot use these. There must be some something wrong in that. So just select this one, AK02, assign to your controlling area, save it. It will give some warning, accept it, save again, go back. So now it is assigned. We don't have to commit again. Now we have to work over controlling area. So structure has done. Now probably we have to set operating. So Move flow of actual value, then activate profitability analysis. This you have to do. So, this one is mine. You can see that it is there because of the previous step, uh, it appears automatically, and it is also 
automatically account based tick if it is not there you have to click it here and select this thing just as it is all already selected nothing to do but for save side we saved it go back now we have to check the versions go to controlling then general controlling and maintain versions so select this one double click this make sure it is new exchanger what you are using and it is the year which you are is, uh, current year should be current year not the next year uh, sometime it uh, takes the next year but you should be and, and double check that it's the beginning of the uh, year of your current period so then check here okay that's it now go back so th this should be there it is a check it is a confirmation that we have to find the version zero on this you have to configure now we have to define the brand names Go to Profitability Analysis, Master Data, Characteristic Values, and here we can define our brand names. Double click this. So these are already defined one. So it could be, it could not be the same. So we have to just check which it is from 1 to 99. So we have to check which number range is available. Or we can overwrite it as well. So I will use or I will overwrite it or you can just check it out this is see 43 so I will use 44 and 45 44 in our example it's it's Cassia I said just save it. Go back. So, so our configuration is done. Now we have to record the entries. So we'll use all three APA and GA. So first AP70. Okay, so we are entering invoice, sale number, my things, and so on.
so for example in our example I'm taking first uh, I'm just entering on first January but it is not a uh, hard and fast rule you can use any period in our case sale amount is sale amount is 700,000 700,000 and our jail account for sale is 4356 So 400, 300, 400 per Casio and 300 per SQL. 400. Again, use the same sale account. 300,000. This is cost center. If we are entering expense account, we have to use cost center. But if we are entering revenue account, we have to mention uh, profit center. But we already defined profit center in OK B9 by default, so it will pick. Otherwise, we have to mention it here. So, no need to enter cost center, just the branch we have to mention. You can see that this is the column profit segment. Click here, find your brand, just scroll down. So, our brand number is 40 something. This 44 and 45. That's it. See, this green means that it's okay. And for this, we have to use 45. What will make this thing? It will make our report according to this brand wise. So, 45, we have to look it out. Where is that? Right over here. So before saving, just double check with the simulation how it is coming. There's some down payment, just ignore this. So see, this profit center came because of, because of OKB9, because I have defined by default profit center. If I didn't define there, here the dummy profit center will come. So all of this is a difference. So you can see that the sale is uh, recorded according to the brand wise. So just go back, save it. Done. Now go to Vendex. It will be 60. Sorry. Slash N. So our vendor is same first thing you have to just make sure whatever period you choose you should be consistent with this. So what is our cost of goods sold? Cost of goods sold mean uh, purchases or anything you can say. So it's total is 250. And the uh, cost of goods account, we have to find this. And the uh, amount is 150 and 100.
as I told you before that it's an expense account so we have to mention cost center any cost center you can mention it I am using 3100 because these are primary account these are primary account so we have to mention cost centers and now here comes the main thing this one profit second so same thing we have to do let's just give the warning that it's a old pivot so round I think it's 45 the second line So this one is done and this is 44. You can write directly as well if you know the brand number. That's our case 44. So again, green button means that everything is fine. Just check in the simulation generator. Ignore this, don't do it. So profit center is coming. It's me, everything is fine. Cost of goods sold, everything is fine. Go back. Save it. Now the last thing, which is something interesting. I just make the example more complex, like admin cost. I'm not entering uh, in uh, according to prof uh, profit segment wise. I'm entering in a simple one entry, and then I allocate it. Uh, with the secondary account so uh, something complex uh, which will certainly add in your knowledge so admin expense total is 54,000 this we are going to add in FB50 so deal account is this again you have to make sure the same period you are taking which you already use in the previous steps so debit expense account debit credit bank account I think 54 and this is primary account then we will allocate uh, into secondary account so 54 is the total I'm not uh, recording with uh, their profit segment values 27 percent like before I have used this now I'm just entering this one 54,000 as I told you that if we are entering expense account we have to mention cost center because these are primary GL accounts so here it is cost center so I'm using no not this one I'm using admin cost account from there I will uh, divide this into brand wise uh, reporting see my course is allocated to this admin uh, call center from there I will take out 
and distribute between the branch. So before posting, let's check the simulation. So everything is fine. Profit center is here. Everything is fine. Why profit center is here? Because I have assigned the call center with the uh, with this uh, profit center, and you can see that. See, this is automatically came. See, this I'm not using this. All I can use this. If I use this, then I will not. Uh, I don't need to allocate it. So just make it complex. Uh, I'm not using this now. Otherwise, it will be very easy. But I will uh, assign it there. The brand names, but I'm not assigning this. So. Save it. So it has been saved. Now, before running the report, we have to allocate this expense for two four thousand and between these two bounds. So what we're gonna do? Go to SPR. Controlling profit analysis. Transfer overheads. This is call center. Define structure of cost assessment. So this is what we are going to do using assessment. Create assessment. So cycle name you can use any as we are using AK02. So it's better so that easy to remember. Allocation of admin expense to here you have to select your mm -hmm. see this one is it shouldn't be AK0, it should be AK02. Go back. It shouldn't be a K zero one. So we have to check it out whether our operating concern is active or not sometimes this happen although we have did this but we will go back and check it out go to controlling then profit analysis and set operating system here we have to select our new one so this one is the previous one ak01 i have to make it two and you can see that it is account base make it yeah it is two hopefully now ak02 will come so we are now allocate the expense create case See here, AK02 is going to so it is allocation of admin expense number two. Our controlling area attached segment. So, so this is the main page, and you can add as many allocations as you want by clicking this attach. So, just in 
in our case we are using only one it's allocation so here you have to mention the secondary account this one and on a, in our report the profit analysis report we will use this account instead of this because from there this 54,000 will transfer to this uh, secondary accounts according to this ratio this is 50 50 so we are using that one here posted 100% means that 100% uh, amount will sender will sending 100% in our case it's 54,000 and receiver how receiver will receive we use fixed percentage or fixed portion whatever you want to use amount we will use a fixed percentage then go to sender and sender is the account which we use in FB50 for recording the amount. This is a sender. And if you remember our cost, no, sorry, cost element is here, GL account is here. Cost center is admin, if you remember. It's admin. So that's account. Uh, where is that again? in FB 60 and 70 we have used 3100 call center but for FB 50 I deliberately use admin 100 just to make it more clear you can use 31 as well nothing to worry but okay so sender is this and receiver is the brand I think it's 44 to 45 44 to 45 and how it will brand it see it automatically how what percentage you want to give it's 50 percent as per our example you can change it but in our example it's 50 percent 50 percent that's it just save this it is saved so if you want more allocation you can use it 0 to and attach segment in the same it's up to you now we will process this allocation go to k e u 5 probably k e u 5 yes see actual assessment so period is one to one because generally we are using and first you have to check in test run select this one so you will get more details and also start the detail list so you will get the detail cycle is ak02 yeah only one we have made so it is only one and just run it so there will be one sender and two receiver so one sender two receiver just click here check it is properly allocated yes 27 27000 with this band 44 45 and the total is with so it's me everything is fine we can run it so just remove this one and execute it so everything is fine now go back now the final step is to make the report as we um, have all the cost and brand wise so go to ke34 
So there are three step K34, then K31, and in the end K30. So from K0 to any report, report. So whatever you have written before it will come here like this the report name will come here if you want to change it double click and make brand brand voice and click here it will pop here in all three fields so first column is you want that our report look like this so first column on the y-axis and x-axis it should be like this Casio seeker at the top so Casio seeker at the top column 1 characteristic So at the top is the brand, we have to search out the brand. Here it is. So first column is 44, confirm it, it will take the name automatically, the other one is 45, characteristic, brand is already there, so you just have to mention the brand number, confirm it, and the third column you need a total, so either you go for formula or simply write 44 to 45 and here, here we need to change the name we write it brand total confirm it and this we don't need it so just click here probably and delete this column okay here we need a Gmail account, sales, cost support, sold, admin, and total. So first I will do the sales account, double click. Or this one thing. How the report will take the data, this we have to define here. We will define like it's a actual data, not the planning data. We need fiscal year, period, and most importantly, our CO area. This one. So it's actual, so it's zero one, zero for the actual if it is we are using our planning then one period is 2020 and it's month is 01 in january they are using this kind of format not 01001 and controlling area is our list of available count this is my controlling area that's it confirm done now the sale value we have to write so cost element we have to find here cost element means deal account here it is select this mention the GL account here I think it's 55 or 56 something it's 56 
Just press confirm. Hopefully, it take the name as well. Automatically sales. No, I didn't take the value. I didn't take the name. Like in this case, Cassie is coming, coming automatically. So I have to change it. So click on the pencil. Right. Sales. Copy it with all three lines. Select this. Confirm. The other nine link is for the cost of goods sold. Same thing you have to do. Cost element is already there. You just have to mention the account. It's you can write anything cost of goods sold, purchases. Confirm and the last one is here. Most of the time, we make mistake that we use this account. Initially, we recorded 54,000 in this account, but after running the assessment allocation, it has transferred to this account. So this we have to uh, this need to be used in the reporting purpose, not that account. And any name you can give like admin expense, admin cost, confirm. And the last thing is the total. So we will select formula. And in formula, you can see that all the y axis elements are coming out of it. Y1 is for sale, y2 is the cost of goods, so 3 is the admin. So so what is our formula as sale is already in negative so we just simply add it automatically we net it off this see formula is here just press the check button it's kind of equal button click ok and anything you want to write like it's a net profit you can write net Perfect. And now when, uh, the other requirement is the net profit margin. So click here. Another formula. And now the formula is uh, net profit over sales. So Y4 divided by sales multiply by for percentage 100 you can see here press check button sometimes spacing create problems so this remove so now check this Go from again. Oh, see, there's space here. Very strange, but so I thought I was going to change into this. So, check this. So what net profit margin and margin you can write it and margin brand wise Travel report is done. Here you want to write item anything that you want to write. Items. Mm. 
that's it so these are our brands this is total of brand and these are our cost so save it so we have done k34 now go to k31 assign the quincy sign for to this slash n k e 31 So nuclear report is there, basic report is this, bond is, we just have to assign the currency, that's it, currency is CAD and save it, just save, now go to, now execute the report, slash n k e 30 so it goes opposite we start from k34 then k31 and the last step is k30 hopefully it works so our report is there just double I then double click or I think we have to generate it here one way or another. <clears throat> so here is our report. Sale is 400, 300 brand wise. Cost of good admin. This is a thing just I want to show you that now it is allocated by using assessment there's a net profit there's a net profit um, in excel if we compare it so it is 55 57 percent 55 57 yeah it's the same and at the top there's a summary as well that's it for today so this is how we do account based uh, profit analysis in my next video, I will show you how to do this uh, cost list. And uh, if it is interested and if it should increase your in your knowledge, please do like this video. And if you have any comments, please write in the comment box. Until then, see you. Bye.